All right, three and a half miles in. And I probably should have used a little bag, a little different bag system. Definitely got a little bit of frame flex going on right now. But I'm carrying some extra food, so tonight I'm gonna go through everything and get rid of everything I don't need. So yep, three, three and a half miles in. Probably about 56 miles to go for today. We'll see what happens. No wind today, that's a good thing. Getting ready to head downhill for just a half mile or so. I'm off Highway 130 finally, 24 and about 25 miles uh, from the town of Laramie, Wyoming. Now I'm heading south on Highway 11 for about 11 or 12 miles, and then I'll pick up uh, a rail trail, probably for about 25 to 30 miles, and then I should be done. So, still a ways to go. We'll see how far I get. Hopefully this is the correct way. Finally on a little bit of gravel. Heading to, I think it's the rail trail, Medicine Bowl rail trail, I'm not sure. Starting to rain. All right, first hike a bike. It's not a very steep grade, but yeah, thought I'd give my butt a break. Use some different muscles for a little bit. It's just uh, maybe an eighth of a mile to where I get on a rail trail. I just came through some private property back there. I was warned by a, a lady who lives on that road that the guy it's pretty ornery and we would not let anybody go through his property. I went up and knocked on the door. Nobody answered, so I went under his gate and it was only a quarter of a mile long before I got back on Forest Road, but it saved me probably six miles of riding. I'm also at about 9,000 feet of elevation, which all things considered, I'm feeling pretty good considering I'm that high and haven't been acclimatized yet. So, that's all I know. Over there is where I'm heading. I can see the, the trail. There's a fire over there, so hopefully there's not a lot of trees down on the trail. Too bad. That was a lot of climbing to get up here. That was a lot of climbing to get up here. It is still a climb, but it's probably, uh, since it's rail trail, it's probably 2% grade, 3% grade. So, drink some water. 
take an energy gel and get back on it. Going through an area that was burned. It had been quite a few years ago. I have seen bear scat, pretty good sized piles of it on this rail trail, but no bears. I think I've seen some deer or something like deer. And here's where I'm heading. Just about 7.30 on day one. As you can see, the tent's set up and I'm just going through my stuff because I have too much stuff and trying to decide what I can do without. So, I think I've removed about three or four pounds worth of stuff, I hope. And then each day that I drink a few energy gels, that's an ounce a piece. So, so the quicker I get those down, less way to have. I bought, brought 24 of them along because I didn't think I would find them out here. Other than that, I'm gonna do a couple more things. Hang my bear bag full of food and try to get a good night's sleep tonight. 61 mile day. My uh, Strava said 4,000 feet of elevation. I think it's probably closer to 3,000. I had shut it off when I was eating, so I don't think it uh, resumed correctly. On to day two tomorrow. Nothing but highway miles today, so we'll see how far I get. It was cool last night, 42 degrees in my tent, but it's already warming up, at least out here in the sun. So let's get this thing going. I'm heading that way. All right, I'm getting some bonus miles. I got up to the highway and realized I didn't have my orange reflective flag that I've been putting on the back. So two extra miles. 
And I also lost this handkerchief. Man, maybe you should look at my campsite one more time and make sure. And I'm heading into Colorado for just a little bit, then I'll come back into Wyoming again. trucks are going <laughs> the opposite way I am thank God probably at some point they'll turn around and come back though well I'm getting off this busy road and taking it right here heading towards Rollins size load going through taking a break in the shade underneath the welcome to Colorado sign and a couple of bike packers pulled up they're doing a Trans America route which starts in Oregon and ends on the East Coast somewhere and one guy was from Springfield and the other guy was from Bentonville Bella Vista area that is funny uh, the guy from Springfield gave me his card um, yeah what were the chances? First big climb for today, straight ahead. If I had to guess, I would say four to 500 feet of climbing. It's been a pretty easy day of pedaling, so I'm sure the Supper Fest is coming soon. Welcome to encampment. Is there a grocery store or a convenience store here in town? Is it the one I passed down here? An old map showed there used to be one up here on the corner. I don't know how long ago. Well, I 
up climbing out of encampment. Spent a lot of time going downhill into encampment. Now I'm going to pay for it going up this hill. Plus I got a heck of a headwind. I don't know if it's 15, 20 miles an hour right now, which is not making my climbing easier. Heading up that way. climbing it's only about four percent grade right here but the headwind is just killing me and I got at least a, a thousand feet of climbing so this is not the fun part of this trip right now I'll get through it steep when they're running that little gear I can still smell the brakes That was a quick tour of my camp. I'm at Bottle Creek Campground. I was concerned because it's Labor Day weekend that I wouldn't get a spot. I rode in and you gotta climb to get to the other camp spot. So I just took the first one. Campsite number one, right as you come into campground. It's not too far from the pit toilet. There was no water here. I think tomorrow should be an easier day. I got a pretty good climb first thing in the morning and then it's relatively downhill, so. 50 mile a day tomorrow, maybe I'll go a little further. I don't know if it's gonna rain. It's spraying a little bit. Storm clouds are coming over, over the mountain here. Got my bike uh, strapped to that pole so the wind doesn't blow it over. I like to sleep with my tent fly half open so I have a position so nobody can see in from the road. Brought that little piece of tie back along for kind of a, a rug and I have a piece of tie back underneath it just to kind of protect the bottom of the tent and my sleeping pad. Doesn't look like this spot gets used much. It is nice having a picnic table. And a pit toilet. Well, I guess we're getting some rain right now. It hasn't started hailing, which is good. Good rain. All right, all packed up for day three. feet of climbing already in just about a mile and a half. Stop in here, just drink a little water, take a little breather. Climbing first thing in the morning, a little tough, but 
feel better than I did yesterday afternoon climbing this. Still climbing. Just about at a thousand feet. Still got a few hundred feet to go. The pass. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Think I can. 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 Think I can see the pass. Still a ways off. Maybe. Four miles an hour. Quicker speed. Little bit of hike a bike. Break up the muscles I'm using. It's not because I'm tired. No, really. I'm trying to come up with more excuses, but I can't. Here's the sign I've been waiting for. Oh, thank you. Out and out of the bike trail. Straight ahead. Now it's downhill for a while. Here we go. Well, if I would have waited two weeks, the aspen leaves would have been changing. It would have been a prettier ride. What do you do? Yep. And you go downhill all that distance, and then you come to this climb. It's a little demotivating. Some sheep. Over on the left-hand side of the road. It's over range out here, so those could be some rancher sheep. Push here down. <laughs> Not gonna be great views for a while, looking awful smoky down here on this side of the divide. The other side was fine, this side not so nice. Saving the national forest. Bye-bye. Out of the woods and down in the grassland. farm country. We got some rain last night. Nice for nice. Compact. Not dusty gravel roads. The Snake River. Makes this a very fertile farm bottom here. Cows are coming my way. Maybe they think I'm gonna feed them. Now we're talking, getting into the aspens just a little bit. Got about five miles to go. Then I need to make a decision if I want to go higher or not to make tomorrow easier. It's about quarter after two. 
Saturday. Who do you think lives back in there? Doing a lot of work on a property and it's super green. Oh, thank God. I don't know if there's gonna be water up higher or not, so I'm carrying about four liters of water right now after filtering. This thing's been nice. Rote National Forest. <clears throat> Clark and Steamboat Springs and Columbine tomorrow. A couple miles and it should be done for today. You know it's getting pretty serious when the helmet's off. Doing some bonus miles and climbing right now to make tomorrow a little easier. Rush hour traffic out here in the National Forest. What's up, Cavs? Okay. You're all right. Big day today. More mileage than what I thought I would do. But I wanted to make tomorrow a little easier. So this is where I'm camping at tonight. I'm camping with the cows. Hopefully they don't mess with me too much. I wanted a little better spot, but it is what it is. I didn't want to go any higher. I don't think I could have climbed anymore. I think I did about 44, 4,500 feet of climbing today. Um, I did some of tomorrow's work this evening, so. Just waiting for the sun to go down behind those trees so I can climb in my tent and relax. And there's water over here. Keep in mind, there's cows all over, so I'm sure the stream's contaminated, but I filtered water and then I have uh, kind of chlorine tablets. And I'm glad I brought those along because I've used them quite a bit um, today. Just filtering water, just to make sure it's safe to, to drink. I don't need to get sick. Check in later. My tent and my neighbors. Let's just walk over and say hi. What's up, buddies? Roar. Roar. You guys doing okay? Huh? Sun's still on the hillside up there. No sun here at all. Frosty morning. Got down to about 20, 27 degrees in my tent, so I'm sure it was just a little colder than that outside. I'd like to wait for that sun to come up over the hills, but it's gonna be a while. That's why I'm packing up. Started about 10 minutes ago. Climbing, climbing. climbing not too bad about a four percent grade right now spent as much as 14 percent just turning cranks steamboat springs 30 miles that way look at pavement for a while all right On speak. I 
turned around and came back for that. Way better than squatting in the woods. Can I make it to come and go in Steamboat Springs by noon? It's 11.08. Let's see if I can get it. Coming into Steamboat Springs. Probably about seven or eight miles to where I'm camping tonight, 1.36 on Sunday. You never know if you're going the right way or not. camping next to this lake for some reason I didn't think you could swim in it but it looks like you can so maybe I'll go for a swim instead of a shower <clears throat> sunrise over the porta potty Good morning, day five. Started about seven minutes ago. 7.57, here we go. All right, taking a left here and heading towards Lynx Pass. You can see that sign. Heading up that way, Lynx Pass. You can see how close that fire got to some of these houses up here. Pretty close. A whole bunch of signs like this one. Thank you, firefighters. dusty out here up in some uh, high elevation high elevation metal I was up here grazing time back there so there's moose out here I don't see any yet Climb ahead of me somewhere. Heading that way. Maybe I'll just move in here. I bet Tammy would love it. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Get some water down here. What else do you need? Bug, it sounds like a rattlesnake every time you go by it. It's a grasshopper, I think, or you can't see it on here, but straight ahead. What the hell? How deep is this? Pretty deep. <laughs> Bottom. 
If I would have looked behind me, I would have seen this sign. 12.5 miles to probably where I'm camping tonight, Colorado River. Came down over there, came down, hairpin turned down at the bottom. You can't see any more over the foot because it is steep. Definitely hike a bike. But I'm keep on keeping on, that's all you can do, right? Not too far from the Colorado River. I think I'm stopping there. I don't know, it might only be two o'clock. But I could swim, maybe rinse my socks in the river, who knows. Heading up that short monster river climb. I'm glad that sucker's not 10 miles long. This came down from up that way. up here if I could be wrong just came up this all right I spot my campground right down right down there hopefully there's a spot for me we'll find out it's the Colorado River Valley right there definitely uh, smoky on this side of the mountain You can actually see the road down there. Oh, over here. Comes around, spins around, comes out down there. I can see the bridge way down there too. Colorado River. Ah, comes a train. That was good timing. I heard it uh, blowing its horn down the tracks a little ways. Check off the stupid things to do on my list. I was gonna camp at Radium, but it was so hot, dusty, all the boat traffic, bear activity. So I'm gonna try to get into Kremlin. I don't know if I'll get a room tonight there. I just hope like Subway or something's open so I can eat. Cause it's gonna add another uh, 16 miles, 2,000 feet of climbing to my day. Later. Oh, I got a tailwind. I hope it takes me all the way to the top of this hill. Oh, I'm trying to get the Kremlin. Going up that way. All right. Bonus miles today. Bonus miles. I'm at the top of this last climb downhill, a little bit of climb into Kremlin. And I believe I got a Super 8 being held in my name. Please be open subway when I go by. Please. That's all I want. Meat Boss Sub. God dang. Sounds so good. Meat Boss Sub, I'm coming for you. I'm heading. Heading away from Hartzell. And I'm heading up this way towards Breckenridge. Here's the Colorado River right here. So I took a rest day in Hartzell just to let my lips and my nose heal up a little bit. 
didn't even realize how much sun and wind chap I was getting. Um, so those two items needed a break. So on I go to Breckenridge. Thirty-four miles to the outside of Silverthorne. Mostly uphill today, but got a little downhill right now. So I'm gonna enjoy it. Wildlife crossing. There's tall fences on both sides. I wonder how well it works. I haven't seen any uh, dead carcasses in a ditch anywhere. So maybe it's a good idea. Pretty smoky out that way. We'll see how it affects my lungs. Big mountain straight ahead, but can't hardly make them out with the smoke coming in from the west. A little disappointing. Is what it is. So, got my mask on. Makes it harder to breathe. Steams up my glasses when I'm climbing. But it's all about protecting my lips and my nose today. When I get the REI, I'll find something that will let me breathe a little easier. I don't know if it looks like it, but these shoulders are pretty generous. I don't know. I really haven't felt unsafe riding on these highways yet. And this is probably the busiest one I've been on. Through the window. Summit County, established 1861, very high fire restrictions in place. Pretty long water up here too. I imagine this relies on just snow melt. So this may be typical this time of year for it to be this low. Not sure. Riding along this reservoir. Hey, nice shady spot to sit down and eat a Snicker bar. I would not be drinking any PBR though. That's uh, still pretty cool out, so they will not be melted yet. Somewhere down in here. Yeah, maybe Snickers bar. So you're getting in mountain country, you got these nice streams out of the high desert and climbing 
through the mountain zone. Finally some trees. Some aspens are starting to change. Seven miles to Silverthorn. Come and go pizza. Silverthorn. Time for lunch. Get up to where these vehicles are at, way at top of the hill. Dillon Reservoir. But my campground is probably two miles away, maybe. Forty four. Yes. Love it. 